Hey guys, take a look at this video to see how some of the Venezuelans have been entering the country. I got this footage with someone and this is at an unknown location. I recently visited this house and distributed some food hampers and some other items on behalf of some donors. This is at Zeeburg West Coast de Marara where 72 Venezuelans from the Waro tribe are living. Hey guys, welcome back to the Shabna Show. I was really happy to go there and help out with this, these families. This was done through the kind compliments of some of our donors. Thank you guys. Uh, I know you don't want me to mention your names, but you know yourselves and may God reward you tremendously for your help. Also, It was really heartbreaking to see these people living under such condition, especially the children. When we went there initially, we were told that there were five families, but there were actually 10. So we have to return with some more items. And thankfully, the same donors um, provided the, the donation to re for us to return with the rest of the food hampers for those other families who didn't get. Thank you. So there's a hammocks that they sleep in? Yeah. Okay. I got two, I got three, I got four. Uh -huh. I got five. Uh huh. Yes, me. Same. Okay. Same Come here, go there, Rich. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. I got two, And more in here? Yeah, I got Okay. Hello. How are you? Good? So this is Jimmy. Jimmy was here about two years ago already. Uh, so he can speak a little bit of English. How long the, the rest of people came here? Yes. Uh -huh. Five months. Five months now they're here? Yes, five months. Okay. Uh, you were renting this place before? This is the boss man, uh, Sammy, Sammy. Okay, you work for him? Yeah, me work in a boat, a fish boat. Fishing boat? Yeah, tomorrow me go to a fish boat. Oh, I see, I see. And are these your relatives? Huh? Are they your relatives? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they all came on a boat? Yeah. Okay. Guys, before I continue the video at Seabird, I just want to show you the great risk in which these people take to travel to Guyana. They're trying to escape the hardship they were facing in Venezuela. And even though they're, they're in such bad condition here, it is still better for them than what they were accustomed to there. I know the video quality is poor, but at least you have an idea of what's going on. So these are some of the items we decided to bring for them because um, we weren't sure what exactly they use and so we came here first we brought these items then we just go back and get some more for them but according to Jimmy there are about five families here the cooking separately separate with their families this is Monica kind neighbor who, who is helping them Monica has been helping for quite a while now What's your name? Ashley, what's, what is the name of this shop? Daniel and Supermarket. Daniel and Supermarket, okay. Um, you think we need sugar, more porridge? How much sugar you These are the items that we put together with what we got from Guy America and from this store. And these are my helpers. Where's Ashley hiding? <laughs> Okay, thank you guys for helping. So we're gonna put them together in a bag and we're gonna go back there and distribute it to them.
Okay, good. Thank you. Okay. Come, everybody, come. Come. Jimmy, you gotta help me. You gotta help me take out one bag of this rice, one bag of that, and one bag of this for her, for, this, for them. This is for your thing? Yeah, this is for her. Right? This is, so you can help to touch it? Okay, here, here you go. This? Yes. You take this one. Uh, who can help to carry that? You can help to carry that. Okay. Okay. So much to do. Huh? Okay. And next family. Next yeah, family. This family. <laughs> Who else with her? Me. Who else with her? You got you got his angle. This one wants support. Yes. She alone? Yes, she alone. Okay, so she got a bag. These here. Help her, her. You wanna help her? Who wanna help her? You can come. You help me. Help me to take these in. Help me to take this in for her. Okay? Yes, for her. Next family, come. Where's the clothes? You have no clothes? Okay, who's gonna take it? This one take it. You're gonna take it? Yeah. Here, here we go. Uh, you wanna help her? Come on, that's all. Come on, that's all. Can you take this though? Yeah, no, it's too heavy it for you. This. You can take it? You grab it? Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Okay, come. Um, come, on. come, next family. So, okay, wait, wait. Let me just get something in here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um. Okay, come. Next family. This is the family. Here, here you go. You can hold this one? Yeah. Okay, and this snack? Uh -huh. You want to hold it? Yeah. Five you said, right? The tree. The tree. Huh? The tree somewhere. Okay, so we just came back from the shop and we distributed to five families. But apparently Jimmy checked wrong. Jimmy, you gave me a wrong count. So uh, when we came, five families didn't really get. So we're gonna return with some more items. For uh, guys, whoever wanna help, uh, feel free to come here at Zeeburg. It's at Mandal Street. I think the second corner on your right. Hello. You like your snacks? Hey.
No, they don't think they look would bad. Look at Jimmy's star shopping one of the pants. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Are you wearing yours too? Very good, very good. Nice. <laughs> like it? <laughs> Say thank you. <laughs> oh, you got to try. No, boy. Okay, bye. 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 Adios. Adios. Okay, so this is Mr. Trevor who lived not too far away from these Venezuelans and he's going to tell us how come he started helping them. Yes. Well, as people come in, people come in and give a little help one, one time, you know. Yeah. So come, we know them and we start to investigate. When we got over uh, uh, food and we can't eat it out, we just take it to Tomorrow them. Tomorrow maybe I'm planning with my mother-in-law to do dal and rice and fried fish. Today. That's very good. You'll get yes. a lot of blessings for that. Yeah. And then uh, recently you start helping a lot more yeah, because... recently we call water flow for them. Uh -huh. We give them some clothes uh -huh. and after then we... Um, my mother-in-law and I decided to call Waterflow for them to get a little help. Okay. And then he sent us uh, $50,000. So uh, we bought like tw 35 pounds of chicken and we bought dal and rice and yeah. potato and you know. Yeah. And we cook and we feed them. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. give them snacks like ice cream and we buy lollipop and bobbies okay chocolate them, yes yeah. okay yeah yeah and today i give them pampers and yeah. milk lactogen uh-huh we bought soap powder big pack soap powder like this uh-huh and um bleach sweet soap, soap and soap yeah Okay. It's good to look out for people who can really yes, um, yes, help themselves. Yeah. You never know why you day yeah. is going to yes. come. Yes, yes, sorry. Uh -huh. I'm not a rich man, I'm a poor man, but yes. um, I, I love to help poor But people. you're rich at heart, which right, is very, right. very good. Uh, yes. You know, I have to look yes. poor people just like myself. Right, yeah, right, very good, very good. Okay, thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I know this video would have touched a lot of you and uh, also to our other donors we're very pleased for all your help so far towards the shop the show and without your help we wouldn't be able to help these people that we've been highlighting 